Yeah. Always got to thank the crafty, <laughs> the crafters. What is this strange place we find ourselves in? Yeah, it's n- <laughs> Earth. The, the Earth, yeah, the under planet. the firmament. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> under a steel blue sky. Listen, guys, we're at Betty's. This is what we usually do. If uh, if you guys were wondering, this is what we usually do. Next door I, to the Pacific Junction. This is where F1 at Betty's happened. Yeah. yeah. The international inspiration. Yeah. This F1 <laughs> happens here. Well, you're, mm-hmm. what you're seeing is the aftermath an empty an empty room with just. But if I don't know if you can see, like there's a TV right there. We show the yeah, yeah we you show can see it. Yeah, we show the race there, and then there's off to the right. There's another TV over here. There's we another get TV. The F1, uh, the live, the live the timing. data, the live timing. Yeah, it's it's good. All these good couches times. are full. Those chairs, this table, that bench. Well, they can't see that. They can't see over there. This but anyway, door. yeah, well, all that stuff over there. Listen, just imagine British Grand just Prix. Imagine. We just finished watching it. Obviously, it happened many, 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 many hours earlier in the day, but. I saw it two times. Uh, yeah, well, you know what I mean? You gotta if you're a fan. Um, and it was a good race. It was a good race. Better than, okay. better than the last one. Yes. Yeah. Woody Harrelson, man, you can't go wrong. Wait, he was there? I thought that was Owen Wilson. And Woody, Woody Harrelson, Harrelson was there, too. Oh, both of them. Yeah. yeah. He's got some new movie. They both got new movies. Yeah. Do you know that he's half murder? Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who is? Can you be a half Who is? Who is? Who is? <laughs> no, uh, Woody Harrison's dad. It, it's like a like he got convicted for murder. Oh my goodness! So he's half murder. I loved him in that zombie movie though. That was <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Woody Harrison is badass and he's a good actor. Yeah. Um, listen, British Grand Prix. Um, did it live up like? Did it live up to the expectation expectation of uh, the third last British Grand Prix at Silverstone? No. No, no. I there's, guess there's been not. way better British gr- British Grand Prix or Obvious. whatever. Obvious. Yeah, Had the last moments, the though. last few laps were good. Yeah, yes, absolutely. The but first few laps were good. Can we just go back to like something that like, like and this is what I thought was gonna happen, and and, and, and I actually like I, I remember making like a mental note, and I was like, if Lewis wins, okay, actually, hang on, two we talked about this on the podcast, two, no, the two, last podcast, two, as well. two, two things. I want I want to mention two things. Uh, and, and then and then we move on from this. Two things. One, I was right. <laughs> about I was, I was right. About I was right. I about. was right in the sense that when remember when I said that if Lewis wins the race, nobody's gonna give a fuck no. whether or not he was there for the F one Live in London event. Oh, you don't nobody, know. Nobody, nobody oh, cares. No, 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 no one cares. Come on. And after that, like he went and did um, uh, crowd surfing for a while. Like people were loving it. Of no, yeah. course. People forgot that thing uh, so fast. So his, like this. Ask their ass sweat. His ass sweat all over <laughs> the head. You know they're gonna <laughs> bottle, bottle that shit. <laughs> Sell it on eBay or something. Smell my hand to touch Lewis. Smell my hand to touch Lewis. <laughs> You know, there's what, a bunch man. of one hundred percent. Yeah, that's like that's hashtag Team LH. My hand smells like Lewis. C- c- come on, guys! Like we all knew that the mainstream, well, the legacy, sorry, <clears throat> the legacy media, legacy was, media. The, the legacy media was making a mistake, making such a huge deal mm. about something that was for actually a non-issue. Mm. Like they say, oh yeah, they like Lewis got booed. People, people boo, people will boo anything. Like if I, I would boo oh, this beer, especially like, boo Julian Palmer. Yeah, but exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So, I, okay, hey, sorry. So this race, sorry. I just want to before we stray off. Two things. One, Lewis. Everybody forgot about the fact that he like didn't show up to London. I would yeah. say most people probably forgot. Yeah, I wouldn't it, say everybody what, forgot. What what is it? Uh, Martin Brundle said. I didn't used to say That's why Lewis, Martin Brundle was sick. <laughs> he, could, he couldn't. He couldn't commentate on the race. He was so sick. <laughs> Listen, Brundle always says that people in F one have very, very short memories, and it's true. Like it's because it's like every it's, sport, man. Yeah, every sport like, is like that. Yeah. So whatever is in the moment. It's in the moment. That's what. It's, that's what sports is about. And and it was a great moment for Lewis. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. For two, sure. And number two is I also thought like if Lewis wins. Most of the talking points, well, okay, specifically the one top talking point that I wanted to get to 
was gonna get like you know sort of forgotten about. Mm. So I want to make a point to the bring him back. How good was Alonso's qualifying? I never watched <laughs> it. I just saw a highlight on Reddit. I was like, oh my, what is he doing there? <laughs> he, he made it to first place in Q1 after a fantastic time. Get the balls that to tiptoe out on some slick tires. That is why he, that like that is why Alonso is the man. It's like yeah. it's like it's like every time that we uh, like every time that we <laughs> no 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 every time that if we If anybody forget, took a slick tire on the last lap, they would have got the fastest time. But he pushed that. It wasn't the team. It was him that pushed that to happen. That's yeah. what made the difference. That's why Alonso is Alonso. And like yeah, and and he and, would have never took that risk if he was in like third place in the championship. So here's he would here, have here's, never ever. Here's another story that goes with it. So yeah, Alonso, right? We all know the master. <laughs> your master, apparently. <laughs> you have no. a small shrine somewhere in your house where like you just like bow to him and like. No, no but listen, it's, it's like it's like every time that we forget who Alonso is, he like he's like quick to remind us. Oh shit, yeah, oh, fuck, that's Alonso. Right. Alonso is the guy that can actually out like overperform the shit out of a car. Yeah, he can, that's, he, that's his, his whole job. career. His whole career has been that, right? Overperforming the car, like mm -hmm. overdriving the shit out of each car, qualifying race situation, knowing the technical aspects of it. That's his deal, yeah. right? That's why he is Fernando Alonso. Mm -hmm. I think that his stock, though, was sort of like plummeting, like with because he whatever he does on track, he has a habit of undoing it with his words. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I think his stock had been plummeting a little bit, um, and now he got like you know people like took notice again. Right. Right. And I think it goes along with the story of Vettel. I feel that apparently Vettel, uh, and this is according to the French media, mm. uh, Vettel asked to sign or whatever that he's renegotiating his contract with Ferrari and he's asking for 120 million bucks 120 million bucks for three years for three years not so, per, but not but, per year but this is this is higher than Lewis Lewis mm -hmm. asked for 100 million for three years so this would be 20 million on top of I Lewis's think Lewis contract got 100 million for two years didn't he three three as well when yeah yeah, yeah. well look at that I, I might be wrong but anyway, I think we looked this up recently. Lewis is making fifty million. With that's that's counting that's counting that's, counting that's counting sponsorship money. So that's different. I'm talking about straight up contract with the team. I think Lewis is a hundred million for three years, um, and and now Vettel is is trying to push for a hundred and twenty million for three years, if and only if they keep Kimi on his current contract for another year. Kimmy's contract is due at, is due at the end of this year. He's, oh my god! So he's tr he's basically trying to block the door for Alonso Alon not yeah, to come in because clear. To, to Ferrari. So he he, he probably sniffs it. He knows that yeah. like somebody in Ferrari, especially like after Alonso keeps reminding them, hey, I'm I'm the guy that can do this. Good. I'm the guy that can do this shit. Mm. Uh, then yeah, they wanna. They, like, if Sebastian would be right to like try to put his foot down and say like, no, this guy, like, who that guy? No way. Yeah. <laughs> the same car as me. Heads? No <laughs> the way. The same car as me. There's yeah. no way. And yeah, and the two of them with the red mist. That would be beauty. Well, it would be very, very entertaining. Yes. I just don't think it's like uh, an unhealthy relationship with someone. You know what I mean? Where it's like, oh, this is way too toxic. Like they're yeah. both phenomenal drivers, but I would, I, I would. I'd be anxious if I saw like the Ferraris driving. But I'd that's like, how what? that's how Ferrari. <laughs> okay, listen, Ferrari forgot that that's how they thrive. All right, they actually culture, thrive. Right? Yeah, <laughs> the spaghetti. <laughs> just just like, putting out fires and like dealing yeah. with like hotheads. That's what they should be like. They like Schumacher. Like he used to be, like anything happened to Schumacher. Like he'd be like ready to fight. Like he was yeah. actually ready to fight <laughs> David Coulthard one time. Like and punch him in the face. Punch actually. him in the head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so listen. This is what Ferrari like does best. That's they should capitalize but on that. Marchione just said this week too that he is vying for Charles Leclerc, Charles Leclerc to come into for. To that Ferrari would be a great story. They, so apparently, to Char replace Char right Charles now. Leclerc apparently so far has like uh, like either a perfect record or as close of a perfect record. Like in his season in Formula Two, he's been winning. F two, yeah, he won the last race, I think. He's winning everything. And Crazy. then it kind of makes sense too if. Renault is really making the push that they say that they're trying to make like and then especially with the Renault outside of F1 mm -hmm. Renault's merging with uh, Nissan to become the biggest car manufacturer in the world Nissan and, no, and they, Mitsubishi they, they've, ha they've had a, a long standing relationship from before with Nissan but, yeah, but with Nissan and Mitsubishi together mm -hmm. they're going to become the world's biggest car manufacturer but anyways Fun. 
Fun fact: to in Japan, pull, under, pull the under, the, away from, under the Mitsubishi brand of companies, they like like uh, it's possible in Japan to have an apartment that was built by the Mitsubishi construction company. They do everything. Financed like you, f- so you finance your mortgage through the Mitsubishi bank. Banking. Your your appliances are all the Mitsubishi. You drive a Mitsubishi. You, you, you write cars, down. You, you you sign the paper with a Mitsubishi pen. <laughs> yeah, they do everything. It's <laughs> fucking scary, man. It's very similar to Samsung is very similar to that in 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 Korea. In Korea, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. they do construction, shipbuilding, <laughs> yeah. electronics. But we digress. Uh, we're, okay, so now, okay, now, now that now that I got like the two points that I wanted to talk about, like out, let's talk about the race because the race, yeah, yeah last two laps, tire dilapidation, all kinds of stuff going on. Delamination, delamination, all, all kinds of stuff going on in the race. Uh, didn't happen until the last uh, handful of laps, mm-hmm. but until then, like, so we talked to Christian Ryan this morning. Okay, Christian Ryan, uh, we talked to Christian this morning. What's up, bro? Yeah, and he 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 even was of the idea. Like a- anybody that like tuned out of the race, like he didn't five see laps the last to go. Two laps, yeah. yeah, apparently we went down. So me and Jay here, we went down to the indie race in the morning, Ooh, yeah. and uh, apparently they in the race control area they were playing the Formula One race in the morning. You know, every, everyone's interested. Yeah, obviously. yeah, totally. He was sticking his head in, sticking his head in, sticking his head in. But yeah, he said he hadn't seen the last two laps. So, like, I kind of sorry, I spoiled the race for you. <laughs> but yeah, he, he's like, he's like, oh yeah. So I, I'm like, did you see the result though? You saw the result. He's like, yeah, uh, McLaren won two, Ferrari came yeah, in third. Mercedes. So yeah, Mac- Mercedes won two, and then uh, Ferrari took the took the other two spots. Like, oh man, no. he didn't see the last three laps. Yeah. <laughs> No, he he was, was that the lamination. He he thought that it was Mercedes followed by the two Ferraris. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I think that's what I said. It, yeah, it's it. It was crazy. So Sebastian Vettel. So let's put it. Okay, so Sebastian Vettel finished seven. Wore his tire right through. Yeah, and had to pit on the last lap. Yeah, the yeah. last lap. So he could like actually like come in and score a point, but he finished the, the race at seventh place. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and with Lewis winning, that means that now Lewis Hamilton is behind Vettel by only one, one point. point now. One point difference in the championship at the halfway point of the season now. Yeah, this is really Ooh. truly one well, race true. from the summer break too. M- Mike, can you pull uh, just uh, just just quick? It's almost a reset. while we're t- while we're talking like pull up the championship battle. standings. Like like I, see. I don't have anything. Oh, I can oh, tune on my oh, phone. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Where is my phone? Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, while you Sorry. while you while you sort that out, so we're actually talking about a position in the year where I thought it's right here. <laughs> I thought at first that Ferrari definitely had it. I thought that there was no way, but yet here we are, and this is Formula One, and we're in a championship that is now like really it's it's really open to three people, and the hidden player that we never expected in this I did I I didn't anyway. Is, but uh, is Bottas. Bottas, he's yeah. there, man. He's so close. Hold on, I'm just pulling it up right now. On my phone. Yeah. So he was sort of being asked at the end of uh, the last race. So how do you feel, man? Like you're that close. One more podium, one more victory. You were in the po- in the championship picture. Like you're yeah. right up there with Lewis and Sebastian. He's like, oh, you know, I don't want to think about this. You know, I'm close, but you know, I still believe. My team believes we can do it. You can do it, though, man. So, so how far act, how, how, how far is Bottas do down now? Uh, he, but, okay, so we have uh, Vettel with 177, Hamilton with 176, 176. Bottas with 154. So that's not bad, yeah. That's, so one 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 more victory and like something unlucky for either of them. Yeah. And we're only halfway there. Yeah. yeah it's only we don't halfway. like. Can you imagine? Okay. I will Vettel re- and Bottas I will take each other out. Or w- Vettel and Hamilton take each other out, and Bottas wins a race. I, or, I'm talking about championship. I'm talking about Three like we're, like Bottas might be actually staring down the gun of his first world champ or his maybe only for world it's championship. It's not gonna happen, but it could. What do you mean it's not gonna happen? I didn't think. It's okay, not, listen, it okay, we were talking about this like it was like a reasonable thing when it's the, semi-reasonable. When when the Bottas announcement announcement happened in the winter before we even saw his performance in a Mercedes. Yeah, of course, he had we an were even saying, chance. No, but we this is what we were saying. We, we were saying that. Oh, you know, Bottas, he's great. He's a good guy. Like, we've been supporting him for a while. Like, we've been talking about him. Like, he was, like, a good driver for a while back. Uh, but I remember, I specifically remember saying, 
listen, he's going to come to F1 and he's going to like, you know, because he's going to have like the winning team, he might win like one or two times. Like right. I did, I honestly did not expect him to like make that much of a difference. And I, I don't know. And I haven't made myself like I haven't made it an opinion uh, of whether that is strictly to due to the car that gives him that much more of an yeah. advantage or he's actually that good. And we just hadn't seen him in a car that suited his style. I don't know. I can't tell that. But or yet anyway, but I. I think that we've definitely we we're either seeing one of the two options, right? We're either seeing a Bottas that is overperforming, or at least like he's he's performing to the level that he's been asked to, which mm. is championship contender level in a championship contender team, a championship winning team, right? Or it's all about the Mercedes car, and the, and that's the end of the discussion, which would be sad. I th- that's my yeah. that's my view on it. Yeah, it really is. I mean, yeah. You give half the half the drivers on the grid a Mercedes. I'm sure they're going to perform well. <laughs> and that's and yeah. that's the truth. Unfortunately, that's the truth. Yeah, I'm sure Alonso would drive it much more better than Palmer oh, would. Oh, uh, absolutely, magic. right? Imagine Alonso in that car. Yeah, <laughs> but then stupid. so so then so then that's the question. That's yeah. the, and then, so if you put somebody with and a, a significant amount of skill more than Valtteri, maybe arguably whatever. Right. What could he or, or she be able to do with that car, mm. right? And that's that's the that's a never ending question. Anyway, that's definitely a question that like we can spend all epi- episodes sure. talking about. Sure, absolutely. But that's just like I, I don't know. That's not to take anything away from Bottas. Like Bottas. he's I had done know. an amazing job. He did an amazing job last race. Um, he's 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 been driving like he deserves that seat. One hundred percent. Can we just for a brief moment talk about my boy? Danny Rick, yeah, can we, can, he did a phenomenal yeah. job, man. He started in last place and ended up at what sixth, fifth, his, sixth. His, his one tweet there after the race was, you know, I know Hamilton got on the podium and uh, he is ham, but I felt like I went ham this race. Yeah, he did. That's what he, he said he, he did, man. He came from it. the back. Funny enough, the, his biggest challenge was Alonso. Yeah, and, and it was very brief, right? It yeah. was only it was like pretty a, short, but a lap or two at, at most, and he just. He got past him. He got past him. And, like, everyone else is just like, oh, Ricardo took another spot and another spot. Yeah. There it is. Oh, he's behind Alonzo now. As uh, Crofty uh, so him. graciously put it, he had a, a string of memorable overtakes. <laughs> 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 they were memorable. Yeah, not wrong. Yeah, he must have had a lot of fun today. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. He, I think, <laughs> do we do you know who got driver of the day? It's got to be him. Or it's I actually a, it's don't him know. him or Hamilton. I actually don't actually, know, but it's got to be him. It's you you want to look it up Hamilton while we talk? Though, because yeah. it was, it's on the F1 official website. Probably. Yeah, because it was Britain, it might have been Hamilton. But it probably should have been Ricciardo. Ricciardo did a great job. I, I hope that it was Ricciardo. Yeah, realistically, though, but, his performance in, was the best. Even though he didn't make it to the podium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was so close. Especially yeah. with that all that weirdness with the Ferrari in the last two laps. Last three laps, even. And what happened there? Yeah. What do you think that was all about? Well, obviously, like they Ferrari, they, they tried to do something with uh, with Vettel, yeah, right? With push, the undercut, they just pushed the tires too hard. I think. I they must have, I guess. The years ago, tires were the full center of the conversation. Remember that? Like it was all tires, 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 it, to the point that we even devised it's a like, drinking game. <laughs> every time that anybody said tires, they they a shot. Uh, every time, every time anybody said dilapidated, del, 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 delamination, delamination, yeah. two sips of beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it is Danny Rick. Danny Rick got driver of the day. Yeah, I thought nice. so. I thought so. Yeah, it had to be. Yeah, it had to be. Uh, yeah, what he. Starting sixteenth, went to six, so that's thirteen. Yeah, he killed it today. Yeah, it phenomenal, man. Yeah, so Lu- Lewis just led the procession. He's, yeah, he, you, Lewis was never contested either. Well, it wasn't a procession. Well, okay, so sure. it was. You know, like uh, the uh, journalists like to describe it as the perfect race, mm. in the sense that, and like no, he, he, no mistakes were made. Well, right, exactly. That's what they mean. It's like mm. even though it is arguably easier to just win the race if you're leading it in the best car right mm. right you could argue that yeah you still have to go out and do it and yeah. actually doing do it, it is is very hard it requires supreme skill and that's why these guys are you know race winners and championship winners because they can actually like maintain he wasn't he wasn't just driving around like it was a like you know walk in the park no he was still like he mm. didn't have to push to the point that he was clocking fastest lap after fastest lap but he was doing that at mm. one point 
Yeah, you, he got a few, especially at the end. He got a few purple laps, right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So um, it takes an incredible amount of skill. Now, is is it a different skill and is it more or less than if you're fighting in uh, in the pack? Yeah, fighting in the pack yeah. is just a completely different situation. It's a beast, yeah. But to be able to stay at the front, whether or not you have like the best machine, mm -hmm. it still takes a certain amount of skill. And he did it. Absolutely. And he, he drove yeah. that perfect race. It's just a shame that we're like it. It's the kind of sport that when somebody does that, when somebody does the perfect race from first place, it's just not very exciting to watch. Because it means that they made no mistakes, so yeah. that's, that means that they're not skidding around. There's no drama. There's no drama, right. which is, in this situation, is kind of what you want. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's unfortunate. Well, it, it's, it's fortunate it's just, and it's then just, unfortunate at the yeah, same time, right? It's, it's, it's the nature of the sport, you Yeah. Know? I don't know. What do you think, Danny? I don't know. That's about all I got. So uh, we Oh, we had a, 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 a brief glimpse of uh, the former... Uh, championship winner Nico Rosberg on on that BB on uh, the BBC. Yeah, uh, he or came not out. BBC, um, Sky. Yeah. yeah, he came out for the British Grand Prix in his uh, beige suit there. God, I don't like him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's nothing. He seemed a It was a little awkward. Yeah. his little segment there. He just it just felt like another one of his like Formula One interviews when he was still driving. It's just like uh, yeah, you know. Um, he's very fakey. Like yeah, they yeah, cut you know, to him at he, one. They cut to him at one point. And he was like. Holding his front teeth like he was super nervous about how Mercedes was doing. He doesn't care that much. No, man. Why would he care? He He's probably cares a, a bit. To sell. Sorry, a picture book. <laughs> it's Listen. for good cause. Still those rumors out here. He might he might come back to that seat next year. No. 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 Don't even put that out there. <laughs> No, there's, not, there's, rumors. Not there's rumors. There's rumors. There's rumors. What? Can you substantiate the those Bottas, rumors? Yeah, the Bottas, the Bottas one year contract idea perhaps a lot of people think Baltas is going to get a one year contract because after next year there's a lot of drivers whose contracts end and it becomes yep. mm. becomes very fluid the oh. driver situation the yeah. driver market becomes very fluid <laughs> <laughs> and yeah there will be a lot of drivers available Nico Rosberg's kid will be two or three years old by then in the twos in the deep twos at least and he might, his wife might give him a little leeway. You know, we've been spending a lot of money here on this baby. Maybe you can go back for one more year. <laughs> Let's get a few more millions. I know it's your passion. <laughs> He's not going to come back to F1. He, he might. He knows that he, he might. Already hated he probably won't. He probably won't. He already, like, didn't want to be there. That's true. That's yeah, true. but that's because of his wife. His wife is like, I know, I got this baby. You got to help me take care of it. You can't just go, uh, drive cars while I'm taking care of this baby. <laughs> they can afford like 200 people. Yeah, like, they can, but people. his wife still has a baby to take care of. Well, sure, but I'm sure other people have babies to take care of. Yeah, no, but they don't have that, it, that, that attention. Oh, okay. she's, she, can, she, that uh, Come on, man. She told him he can't drive anymore. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's what happened. <laughs> Every, everybody knows that's what happened. Yeah, he he, he, he actually man, even, he drove this shit since he, he was he actually even like almost whatever. like said that that's what happened. He was like he was yeah. like oh you know my wife she's been taking care of the kids too much like maybe it's time for me to do it. Like, <laughs> maybe <laughs> like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm like by the way like I'm extremely happy about this, this is my decision one hundred percent. He's just like yeah it's totally my decision. Yeah, it's <laughs> like totally his head is my decision. left and right. A hundred percent. Okay, well, whatever. Let's stop talking about Rosberg. Remember when we said that we didn't have to talk about Rosberg ever again in this podcast? We don't. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> um, the driver market is very fluid. It's very fluid. Um, other than that, like, other, other, well, actually, this is not meant to be, like, a full podcast anyway. Mm. We're going to end it there. Uh, what what uh, what other song do you got for, for us uh, today, Mike? Oh, I only have those three. Oh, just, actually, a, just as a teaser, Jay and I, we, we're down in the Toronto Indy, IndyCar Series, Verizon Indy, IndyCar Series pit lane today. We, we talked to no former F1 driver Max Chilton. Ooh. So we'll, uh, we'll chop up that video and hopefully post it up by the end of the week, if not early That's, next week. Uh, super sick. Nothing super, uh, yeah, there was nothing super time sensitive. But yeah, we, we asked him about the Silverstone. Yeah. Yeah. It's an interesting Sorry. answer. But yeah, we'll answer. get that up on Twitter and stuff soon for you guys. All right. And um, 
if you guys want to help us out if you like the content that we put out if you like us um Click give us a like yeah yeah give, give us a like a, yeah, do a retweet like. tweet us hey, instagram get, retweeting Twitter, like helps. flat out fever flat out fever youtube and flat out fever .com. yeah and uh the both the intro song and this song oh, are right. actually that we're about Jeez. to like put on um our courtesy of bamboo and you can find them at listen to bamboo.com and if you go on that website you will sh you soon find out that the bass player might or might not look familiar hashtag deep bass it's it's me <laughs> it's yeah. me listen to bamboo all right. all right see you guys later what's this called what's this called this one's called all right all right all right, all right. you know kind of like uh Your matthew mcconaughey all right, all right. No, she saw right through you. She seemed to like the view. Stood up in the night. It's all.